Hidden in a hangar at the Plains of Fame Museum is this U.S. Navy aircraft with a stubby propeller and the word test on its fuselage, but this is not your usual Corsair or Avenger. This is the Ryan FR-1 Fireball, one of the strangest fighters ever built for carrier operations. At first glance, the Fireball looks almost ordinary, but beneath its skin is an idea born from uncertainty at the dawn of the jet age. In the final years of World War II, jet engines promised speed, but they were unreliable, slow to respond, and poorly suited for aircraft carriers. The Navy needed a bridge between the old world and the new. Ryan's solution was radical. Combine both. The Fireball used a conventional piston engine up front for takeoff, landing, and cruising, while a turbojet buried in the rear fuselage provided a burst of speed in combat. Pilots could fly on either engine or both at once. The Fireball entered service in 1945, too late to see combat. Only a handful were built, and rapid jet development quickly made hybrid fighters obsolete, but the Fireball still made history. In one incident, a pilot successfully landed on a carrier using jet power alone, marking the first jet-powered carrier landing entirely by accident when the piston engine started to fail during landing. The Fireball didn't fail, it taught. It proved jets could work at sea and helped usher naval aviation into the jet age. Sometimes the most important aircraft aren't the ones that fought, but the ones that showed the way forward. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and have a great day.